and that tweet got uh, several thousand uh, interactions on Twitter. Were you expecting that kind of a response? No, I certainly didn't expect that kind of response. But you know, I'm never going to apologize for you know, showing what I feel to people. I'm outraged. I'm mad that Congress seems to be really good at expressing sympathy for these tragedies, but is terrible at actually doing something to keep people safe. Whatever it is, a, a mental health bill, stopping terrorists from buying guns, more background checks, do something. And I think I'm just reflecting the bewilderment and outrage that most of my constituents feel when they watch slaughter after slaughter happen in South Carolina, Connecticut, San Bernardino, and Congress do nothing. And I have to say, though, since you said that out, I, I believe Congress has uh, voted down several bills that, that would have addressed exactly what you talked about there. But what do you think about, about that happening? I believe the Senate voted down a couple of measures that you just talked about. Thursday was, in many ways, a new low point. Uh, we had a bill on the floor to say that if you're on the terrorist watch list, you can't buy a gun. 99.9% .9 of Americans would support that, would vote for it in a heartbeat. But because the NRA opposed it, the Republicans voted in lockstep against it. That really is confusing to me. It makes me angry, it makes me confused. It, it, it reiterates to me the fact that we have to go to the streets and really build a national movement around some common sense changes to our gun laws. Have you talked to any of the leaders in the Senate, any of the people who actually run the chamber to ask them what it's going to take? My hope is that we can find some common ground here. Uh, I've spent the last year constructing the biggest reform of our mental health system that the Senate has undertaken in my lifetime. And I've done it with seven Republicans who are right there alongside me. I'm hopeful that next year we can at least get a vote in a debate on fixing our mental health system. If we can't get anything done on guns, let's do something on mental health. Uh, that is only part of the solution, but at least it shows we're doing something.